Hi Vasters, a puppeteery here again. We're with uh, micro tutorial number 19 tonight, where we're going to be looking at yet another fun. So the one that we are looking at tonight is a plus two b all divided by three. This is another averaging fun. We've been looking at a few of these on the PC3 tonight. We're going to have a look at it uh, both using one of the utilities that's available to subscribers on the Mastering Vast forums and also having a look at it on the Forte, how we're going to implement this. So we'll get straight into it. So you can see on the Mastering Vast forum, if we go down um, into the subscribers section, under here there is the um, visual fun. It was written by Chuck. Uh, which is a, is a great little utility. So we're just going to go in and see how we can use this utility quickly. So for those that don't know what this utility is, it's essentially a... Um, essentially what it is is it emulates all the functions that are available on the, on the K2600 and the PC3 and the Forte. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to go into the functions. We're going to set uh, this... A to LFO1 and B to LFO2. So we're going to use LFOs on this one. We're going to try and do something a little bit different with the with the LFOs to what we normally do. We're going to set this to A plus 2B on 3. And we're going to set the source up here to fun number 1. Where are we? Fun, fun, fun. There we go. Fun number 1. Okay, and then we're going to set the LFOs themselves. So what we're going to do is we're going to set um, this fun to a quarter note. Same for this one. And then we're going to set the waveform for this to four step. So these are these are stepping LFOs, the, the step one. So they, they, they cycle, but they go up in a different number of steps per cycle. We're going to set this one to falling sawtooth. And then we can turn it on and we can see what happens. Okay. So that looks pretty cool, but let's switch let's switch them around. So let's make this one here the fall, falling sawtooth. And we're going to make this one here the four step. We might offset this by let's say 90 degrees. So we'll just change the phase of this. I'll, actually I'll show you the impact of that. Okay, so you can see the fun here. It's 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 cyclical and it's it's going to have a bit of an impact. So it's it's going up and then then falling back down into steps. Uh, changing this to different um, tempos is going to change. So we spend half our time up high and half our time down low. And if we set this to two hundred and seventy degrees, we get the same thing. We spend most of our time down low with the little peaks at the top. But we like the first one, so. Uh, set it to 90 degrees. Okay, so what we're going to do now, um, I'm going to jump across to the Forte and I'm going to show you how to implement this in the Forte and we're going to use it to control the um, the pulse width modulation of a sound. So it's going to be quite a simple one. Uh, this uh, micro tutorial is going to be a public one just to show, I guess, demonstrate to some of the people, uh, t to members, what's available to the subscribers section and just to give a little bit of an introduction that we're going to start uh, moving some of these tutorials across to the Forte. So we'll see you in a minute. I've just got to reset the camera. So just give me a sec. I've asked as we've moved across to the, the Forte now and we're going to go through and, and program this uh, this function um, to control the pulse width modulation on, on a new program. First thing that we need to do is that we need to make sure that we're in advanced user type mode. So press your global button Go up to user type, make sure that's set to advanced, otherwise you're not going to be able to do this tutorial on the Forte. Um, on the PC3, that's fine, you don't need to set that. And all of this, what we're doing here, is applicable both to the PC3 and also to the K K2 series. Uh, I'm going to go back back and if you've got one of those synths. So this is, this is broadly applicable to all those synths. Okay, so we'll get out of that. We'll go into the clear program, we're going to press edit, and then we're going to go across to the algorithm. And we're going to use algorithm number six. Oops, that's an art page, not the algorithm page. We're going to use algorithm number six here. And we're going to set this first of all to pulse width modulation. Where are we? Pulse width modulation. And we're going to set this one to two pole low pass.
Okay, and the first thing we're going to do is we're just going to open up, open this up so that we can hear the, hear the sound. Okay, and then we're going to, yep, and then what we're going to do is that we're going to um, quickly go and change the envelope to user mode just so that we don't have the, the key map interfering with, with the envelope. Um, by default, the key map that you've selected will impart the amp envelope will impart an amp envelope if it's in the if it's in the um, natural mode but if you set user um, the amp envelope page takes precedence okay um, next thing we're going to do is we're going to go into the DSP mod page we're going to go to the pulse width modulation we're going to set this to 50 which is right bang in, smack bang in the middle and then we're going to set source number one to fun one now to do this I'm pressing enter or the assign button and I'm pressing I think it's the A a6 a and that, that'll select fun one and then I'm going to set this to 50 so it's going to vary the pulse modulation up and down by by 50 percent okay um, now I need to go into function one and I need to set these to LFO one and two so again you can press the enter and I think um, it is uh, B6 and this one here is going to be C sharp six and then I'm going to set this function to the one that we want, which is a plus two b uh, a plus two b divided by three. So it's an averaging function. It takes whatever comes in on input a, adds to it two lots of input b, and then it divides a whole lot by three so that it doesn't exceed um, the full range. So let's go up and set our um, LFOs. So we're going to set these MIDI synced. So to do that, instead of going up and setting hertz values, you go to the left of zero, and it goes into quarter note. So we're going to set both of these to quarter note. And then I'm going to set the shape. So this one here was falling saw. So we're going to select that. And then this one here was four step. And then we were going to offset this, I believe, by 90, 90 degrees. Okay, so we should now be able to hear the effect. Yep. Okay, now to finish the sound off, we're going to go back to the DSP mod page. We're going to now modulate this low pass frequency. We're going to assign this to the mod wheel and the um, resonance to the first slider. So to do this, let's take this down to zero, right down to the very bottom, and then set source number one to mod wheel. So press assign and move the mod wheel. And then I'm going to turn this right up. Okay, now at the bottom level, I'm gonna bring this up so I can just hear it. So around about there is good. And Just hear that, just hear that uh, moving at the top end. And then we're going to go in and do the same thing for resonance, set that to zero to start with. And I'm going to set this to the first slider, hold down the assign button, move slider A, and then I'm going to set this to 12 dB. All right, now let's finish this off with some effects. So we're going to go into the effects. We'll set this to. Um, doesn't really matter what we start with and then press edit and what I want to do is I'm going to change these to I want to put a delay on here first up so just scroll through till we find a delay basic delay okay let's go in and edit this so that push this up a little bit um, And then we're going to go into parameter two. I'm going to add some more. So let's make this one beat. And we'll go 12 and we'll go one beat. So we'll do a, do a little bit of a simple ping pong delay. 75% and we'll set this one to, let's say about minus 30. And we'll set this one to plus 30. Press the wrong buttons. Okay. Alright, so 
that's, that's the first effect. Exit out of that, we're going to insert, um, after that, let's insert a, a chorus. Oops. Oh, we just moved it. Sorry, let's go back and reset that again. Edit. We've got 30% wet. Zero. Frame of two, 100. 12, 24, 100. Power three is 175% there. And minus 30. And plus 30. Okay, let's get rid of that. Get across of this one. Let's go down to find a chorus. I'm just scrolling through to find the choruses. a little bit um, all right so that's so what we've done now if we've implemented that we're just going to go out we'll just save this so we'll exit out of this um, go yes we're going to call this uh, micro 19 Okay, save that um, effect, and then we, we'll get out. We'll just save this, um, save the program as well. we'll call, again, we'll call this micro nineteen. Save that, and that's it. So this is this is the um, the the patch that we created. <laughs> Using the uh, fun A plus two B all divided by three. Thank you for tuning in. Uh, if you want to see more of these micro tutorials for Forte PC three and the K twenty six series, uh, please consider subscribing at the Mastering Vast forums. Uh, there's lots of lots of goodies there, lots of sounds for people, lots of these sort of tutorials, and um, that's what really keeps the Mastering Vast forums online. So if you enjoyed this, please sign up. Thank you very much, and I'll see you next time.